you see me? No, I cannot see you. All right, so I think uh, there's a problem with my camera. Okay, so how's your morning today? It's normal, but uh, it's, uh, this morning the weather is uh, the weather has a little bit raining. So. Ah, okay. So is it is it cloudy? Yes. All right. So, uh, did you send your son or did you take your son to school? Yes. All and right. I, I take her to school. Yes. And are you going to are you going to wait for her until lunch? No. Oh, so how how will she go home later? What time uh, does she go home? Um, as uh, four, to, uh, a half a half past four p.m. All right, and then so. Are you going to take? Are you going to fetch her, or she will go home by herself? No, uh, my uh, her grandfather will take her home. Uh -huh, okay. <laughs> All right. So now, Miss Zhang, we will continue our lesson yesterday. Okay, wait for a moment. Okay. What did we learn yesterday, Miss Zhang? Can you tell me? We learn. We learn about the. Um, Intensive and some uh, new words uh, related with this uh, topic. Okay, so we have learned about incentive. Or oh, what about the words? The words that we have learned. What are the words that we have learned yesterday? We learned the word this, this, and um, motel motivation. Achievement, uh -huh, yes. recognition, reward, or incentive. Mm -hmm. All right, and okay. <laughs> so yes, you are you are correct. Okay, so those are the words that we have learned. We have a lot. Okay, I will read all the words again. So we have here. Yes. Internship. Self motivation, reward, incentive, and enthusiasm, praise, and recognition. Okay, how about our homework? Yes. I told you, you to. Did, yes. you, you sent me a few patients that rise publicly and criticize privately. Okay. This tutation, so this meaning of the, the meaning of this tutation is that um, when we uh, we uh, someone will work at the achievement, or when we want we, we should um, praise them in publicly that uh, maybe more meaningful with them. And uh, yes, many people can know about the achievement and. This maybe make them more happy or um, feel that uh, they uh, they had a respect from from the someone who give uh, the reward for them. Mm -hmm. But uh, when someone uh, makes mistake or um, uh, they have problem, we should uh, criticize. We should criticize them in privately that. Uh, um, Makes them maybe feel more easy, easier. Uh, they, they maybe feel maybe easier for them to accept this. Okay. In compare, yes, in compare with uh, we criticize someone in public because uh, it's may they might feel impressed with our recommend. Okay. Very good. And it is not good to, uh, it is not good for the employer to criticize publicly, okay? Because they will feel embarrassed, okay? they will feel ashamed if you criticize them privately. So it is better, okay, to criticize them uh, privately. You're going to talk to them in your office, okay? You can talk to them in the office or you can message them privately. 
messaging them in front of many people. Okay. All right. So now, Ms. Zhang, we will continue number five. Yes. Number five. So, what incentives does your company offer? Yes. My company offers money or a, a tournament from an incentive like an incentive. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. So, how about uh, benefits? What are the benefits you get from your company? Benefit. Hmm? We earn money. We had. Uh, I have a chance to to meet new people. Uh, maybe I had a chance to to get promotion. Uh, um, yes. Yeah. Oh, aside from promotion, for example, Miss Sam. In my in my country, okay. Yes. So when you are going to work in the government or in a private yes. company, there are some yes. benefits that you can get. Like if you you're going to pay certain amount monthly, and then yes. you will get that when you turn sixty when you retire from work. Yeah. Okay. So they're going to they're going to get some amount. A certain amount from your salary, and it's like an insurance. Yes. All right. Okay, how about number two? What are some ways that managers can recognize good performance at the work? Hmm. Uh, yes, there are some. There are several ways. There are several ways that manager can uh, recognize good performance at work. Like um, uh, uh, give them um, a um, give them a reward, a reward in the uh, monthly and party or in the uh, meeting of uh, uh -huh. the company. Um, the other ways is uh, to uh, give them a chance to get promotion, higher promotion, mm -hmm. or higher position, um, raise their salary. Okay, that's right. Yeah. All right, very good. So, uh, in my company, there are some other ways too, okay? Like yes. they're going to look who are the teachers who got the the best performance. Like they will see if there are many students enrolled to you. Okay. Yes. Aside from that, um, they're going to look if you have uh if you have a complete attendance. Okay. Yes. Right and. Uh, if you, oh, that's not. They're going to see, or they're going to look if you have many students, and then they're going to reward you. Yeah. All right. So now number six, you are going to listen to three people talk about their jobs and answer questions one to three. All right. Oh, can you hear me clearly? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. All right. So let's listen first. Okay, wait for a moment. Unit two, two point one. One. My job involves visiting different hotels to sell various ranges of soap, shampoo, and other toiletries for their guests. My sales territory covers the whole of Germany and Austria. I love my job. I get a lot of fulfillment from meeting new people and from the travel. I can't imagine being stuck in the same place all the time. I also value the autonomy the job gives me. I have to report to my manager once a week, but apart from that, I'm responsible for all day-to-day -day decisions and organization. 
Because I'm on the road so much of the time, I'm provided with the essential benefits like a BlackBerry and a laptop and a company car, of course. I get quite a good basic salary, but what is also very important for me is the amount I can earn in commission. I get 15% of everything I sell and there's no upper limit. And that's a big incentive for me because I'm one of the top selling salespeople. My company are very generous with rewards too. You know, merchandise, vouchers, social events. I do think these help me to do my job better. It's nice to be acknowledged and recognized for my achievements. Two. Every month we have a sales competition with lots of prizes and each dealership has to send in figures for the month to head office, you know, to show them how well we're doing. And then if you've met your targets, you get reward vouchers for things like, uh, I don't know, a, a hot air balloon trip or a spa treatment or something. And I usually give these to someone on my sales team, whoever deserves them. I think it works well. It motivates them. But the real value of prizes is that it helps to make people feel appreciated. Positive feedback and praise are very important. They do a lot for job satisfaction. Managers like myself don't get monthly prizes. The real incentive for us is that if we make the grade, we get invited on a special trip once a year. It really makes you feel positive about working for the company. You feel valued, like an important member of the team. Last year it was a week in Africa and a chance to climb Mount Kilimanjaro and that's something I'll never forget. The company also thinks that development is important for staff morale so there are lots of opportunities for training. Not just staff development but non-professional training like horticulture or painting. That's a popular benefit of the job but one of the biggest perks is the very generous staff discount we get on all our models. And when you're talking about a new car, you're talking about a lot of money. Three. There are a lot of popular misconceptions about this job, you know? I mean, people seem to think you get to travel all over the place and see different countries every week. But that's only true on long haul flights. Most of the time, it's a fast turnaround and back to checking seatbelts and serving drinks. So on a regular basis, the travel really isn't that exciting. But one of the main benefits is a staff discount. Me, my husband, my kids, even my parents, we get hugely reduced fares when we use the airline. And that's when we can really travel and see the world. The salary's okay, a little below average maybe, but the compensation plan is good. Let's see, it includes a profit sharing scheme, a non-contributory pension plan, we have private medical insurance, and there are incentives like attendance rewards and on-time bonuses. So all in all, yeah, it's a pretty good deal. One of the good things about the company is that we do get appreciation when we do our jobs well. Senior management actually comes around and thanks us personally when we've met our targets. And that certainly gives me a sense of achievement. All right, okay, so Miss Zhang, did you hear that or do you want to listen for one more time? I hear that uh, not clearly. <laughs> okay. But I understand uh, uh, maybe just uh, one toss or one or a half of uh, uh -huh. this. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so do you want to listen for another one? Okay. okay. Unit 2, 2.1. One. My job involves visiting different hotels to sell various ranges of soap, shampoo and other toiletries for their guests. My sales territory covers the whole of Germany and Austria. I love my job. I get a lot of fulfillment from meeting new people and from the travel. I can't imagine being stuck in the same place all the time. I also value the autonomy the job gives me. I have to report to my manager once a week, but apart from that, I'm responsible for all day-to-day -day decisions and organization. Because I'm on the road so much of the time, I'm provided with the essential benefits like a BlackBerry and a laptop and a company car, of course. I get quite a good basic salary, 
But what is also very important for me is the amount I can earn in commission. I get 15% of everything I sell and there's no upper limit. And that's a big incentive for me because I'm one of the top selling salespeople. My company are very generous with rewards too. You know, merchandise, vouchers, social events. I do think these help me to do my job better. It's nice to be acknowledged and recognized for my achievements. Two. Every month we have a sales competition with lots of prizes and each dealership has to send in figures for the month to head office. You know, to show them how well we're doing. And then, if you've met your targets, you get reward vouchers for things like, uh, I don't know, a, a hot air balloon trip or a spa treatment or something. And I usually give these to someone on my sales team, whoever deserves them. I think it works well. It motivates them. But the real value of prizes is that it helps to make people feel appreciated. Positive feedback and praise are very important. They do a lot for job satisfaction. Managers like myself don't get monthly prizes. The real incentive for us is that if we make the grade, we get invited on a special trip once a year. It really makes you feel positive about working for the company. You feel valued, like an important member of the team. Last year it was a week in Africa and a chance to climb Mount Kilimanjaro, and that's something I'll never forget. The company also thinks that development is important for staff morale, so there are lots of opportunities for training. Not just staff development, but non-professional training like horticulture or painting. That's a popular benefit of the job, but one of the biggest perks is the very generous staff discount we get on all our models. And when you're talking about a new car, you're talking about a lot of money. Three. There are a lot of popular misconceptions about this job, you know? I mean, people seem to think you get to travel all over the place and see different countries every week. But that's only true on long haul flights. Most of the time, it's a fast turnaround and back to checking seatbelts and serving drinks. So, on a regular basis, the travel really isn't that exciting. But one of the main benefits is a staff discount. Me, my husband, my kids, even my parents, we get hugely reduced fares when we use the airline. And that's when we can really travel and see the world. The salary's okay, a little below average maybe, but the compensation plan is good. Let's see, it includes a profit sharing scheme, a non-contributory pension plan, we have private medical insurance, and there are incentives like attendance rewards and on-time bonuses. So all in all, yeah, it's a pretty good deal. One of the good things about the company is that we do get appreciation when we do our jobs well. Senior management actually comes around and thanks us personally when we've met our targets. And that certainly gives me a sense of achievement. Okay, <laughs> so I think you understood now. Okay, so now, Sam, we have your three people. Okay. Yes. What do you think is the job of Claudia? Um, I think um, Claudia is the third one. Aha! Uh -huh, yes, the first speaker, right? Yes. Okay. So, what do you think is her job? Uh, she's, uh, her job is a seller. She said that she go, she go to a um, uh, hotel, uh, a new hotel to sell shampoo and soap. Yes, very good. She's a salesperson, but she's not a salesperson in a department store. Okay, yes, <laughs> she yes. goes outside. Okay, she goes to different places. A yes. about pizza. Peter, Peter is a manager. Manager of what? Um, I don't hear it clearly, but um, I just see, uh, hear that he talk about how he uh, treat with his staff. So, uh, with uh -huh. his staff, so I think that he is a manager. <laughs> All right, so he's a manager of a company car. Okay. <laughs> Huh? Huh? Okay. Cars. I hear this. Yes. Okay. What about Macy? What's the job of Macy? Uh, I think that she is a flight attendant. 
Okay, yes, I think so, right? She is a flight attendant. Okay. Now, what benefits, rewards, and incentives does their company provide? Can you yes. tell me the, the incentives they get from their company? Yes. Claudia say that she says that she got fifteen percent of everything that she sells. Okay, yeah, that's a good uh, incentive. Okay, what else? Yes. And then he get a, a social a, a, a voucher or a, 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 a ticket for social event. Uh huh. Yes. Two. Yeah. Okay. So, what else? I said from that. No more. I I, I hear a lot, but I cannot remember it now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. And also appreciation reward, right? Yeah. Okay. So, oh, she, she is one of the top sales agent, okay? Right? Yes, yeah, she is one of the top seller, best seller. Yes. Okay. So yeah. she got a lot of incentives, and yeah. also she likes to be praised, okay, yeah. or to be appreciated. Yeah. Okay. What about Peter? Yes. Uh, the Peter uh, said that um, because he is a manager, so he can get yes, a, a monthly praise. But uh, he often got a um, special, so cheap one here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, special trip. What else? She al he also got discount when he buys a new model of car. Okay, that's the biggest. Okay, that's the biggest um discount he got. Right when he yes. when he's going to buy a new model of car, he will get yes. discount. Okay. Yes, this kind of Okay, what about Claude? Yeah, okay, he also got company car, right? Company yes. car and company laptop. And yes, laptop and car and laptop, I, I hear that. Yeah, so how about Macy? What are the benefits, rewards, Macy, that she got? Yes, you see that she, um, she got uh, a scarf house. Yes. So she, she uh, so her family can easier to go travel. Yeah. And then she also got private medical insurance. Uh huh. That's right. Yeah. And, and she said that uh, she feel up when she goes up to see when she appreciate uh, when she did a good job like uh, from her manager. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she up the they will reward her. She will get the the thanks or the recognition from the manager when she did a good job. Yes. Okay. So their manager is going to tell her directly. Okay. The manager will go to her directly to say that she did a good job or to praise her. Yes. Okay, so now, what about number three? What other factors, okay? What other factors give them job satisfaction? I hear As that, I, yes, Claudia see that she, she feel fulfilled, uh, fulfilled when, uh, with, uh, uh, when she meet new people. Okay. Um, because she goes every day, she goes out every day yes. and meet new people. Yes. Yeah. I said from that. Peter say that he feel he feel value because um, uh, he he can give a um, um, good or reward or praise to a uh, staff or. Um, uh huh. Okay. Yes. And also, they feel uh, uh, this one autonomy. Okay, yes. autonomy. What is what do you think is the meaning of autonomy, Miss uh, Autonomy. Autonomy. I don't. I don't know. Yeah. This one. Okay. Is this is this the first time? Is this the first time you hear this word? Yeah. Okay. I, mean, I see it somewhere. I I, I don't uh, uh, focus on this. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah. So when we say autonomy, this is the right to decide, okay? The right to decide 
yeah you're going to decide on your own okay you have okay. the freedom you have the freedom to decide you're not going to wait for your boss you're not going okay. to wait for the manager to decide for you okay so that okay. is Claude. yeah Claudia get that because she can um she can decide on her own okay, <coughs> okay how about DC? okay feel valued also yeah. and sense of Okay. Yes, All right, seven. That's right. Okay, let's move on to number seven. You yes. are going to tell me which birds, which of these birds and phrases from the list are material benefits and which are non-material benefits. Yes. For example, profit sharing scheme, that's material benefit, and non-material benefits is fulfillment. Yes. How about company car? Which one? Account is material benefits. Okay. Autonomy. Uh, is non-material benefits. Okay. Feel value. It's non-material benefits. Next. We acknowledge. It's also a non-material benefits. All right. Commission. Commission is non-material benefits. Okay. What is the meaning of commission, Miss now? I get that. I don't know exactly the meaning of this word. Ah, okay, commission. This is Claudia get. Okay, Claudia get. Like he get fifteen percent commission. Okay, so that is for the material benefit. Yes. Okay, that's material benefit because aside from your aside from her salary, aside from her salary, she get fifteen percent from the adapt. Okay. All right, okay. Next one. Stop okay, it. is material benefits. All Stop right. Attendance. I cannot see it clearly, but this the one is too small. Uh, but uh, attendance is uh, okay. material benefits. All right, attendance reward appreciation. Yeah, appreciation is non-material benefit. Okay, very good. Next one, bonus. I think uh, it's material benefits. Okay, very good. So, this is material. Okay, it talks about money. Okay, next compensation yeah. plan. Compensation plan is uh, non-material benefits. Okay, very good. Non-material benefit. Is it non-material benefit? Compensation plan? Um, I, I think that um, uh, you is having the same, the same meaning with autonomy that they can ah. design a plan or make a plan. Uh, oh, okay. All right. So, yeah, you are correct. What about a positive feedback? It's non-material benefit. Okay, very good. Next, personal, personal development. Of course, it's a non-material benefit. Okay. Satisfaction. Oh, praise. What about praise? Uh, praise, uh, material benefit. Oh, oh. non-material uh, non benefits. Okay, satisfaction. It's non-material benefits. Okay, private medical insurance. I think that medical um, material benefits. All right, non-contributory pension plan. Mm, I think that it's material benefits. All right, material benefit. Okay, see, Miss Zhang, this is something that you pay after yes. you retire okay you will get the pension after you yes. retire okay next sense of achievement of course it's non material benefits okay very good so now let's move on to number eight what okay work with a partner and discuss questions one to three okay, number one which of the material benefits in number seven yes are standard in an employment contract in your country yeah. okay, standard a okay, standard employment contract and which yeah. are additional benefits 
Yeah. Okay, what are the common benefits in your company or in your country, Miss Sam? I think uh, that the profit sharing scheme, scheme. Uh, profit sharing scheme, that's right. Is the I, I talk about the standard <laughs> standards yeah. in employment first. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, standard um, first. Okay. Um, I think the private medical insurance. Okay, so your your country usually offers medical insurance. Okay. Yes. And then contributory pension plan. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> Okay. Monthly salary. <laughs> All right. Yes, of course. Monthly yeah. salary. Okay. Yes, and maybe, yes, maybe. and uh, uh, something that uh, in uh, the in the material benefits it depend on the company and depend on the people. So I, think uh -huh. I cannot. I, so I cannot add them in uh, the standards. In, uh, in an uh, employer contract, in employment contract. Okay, so, right, so it depends on the company already, okay? How about the other benefits or additional benefits from from the company in your country? Some, yeah, some, some company or some country, uh, in my country, give company car for, for several positions, like manager or uh, leader. Okay, yes. Yes. And, and maybe like autonomy, uh, staff account, attendant uh -huh. reward. Yeah. What about company car? Yes, company car, like I say. Uh -huh. uh, but uh, there's so some some company give it for some some employees some special some special position not on the staff. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> and no more. What about um on time bonus? Is this a is this, is this um additional benefits or standard in your country? It's, it's on time. I think that is uh, additional benefits. Yes, additional benefits. Okay. All right. Next one. How does this vary according to profession? Okay. Vary means um change. Okay. Change. How does this change according to profession? Yeah. Okay, does this does this change different profession? Yes. Of course. Uh, because like, each job has then has this had its own um, problem um its own point. So um, these benefits are maybe often change uh, to, often um, is the best is each job had uh, the different um, benefits when give when uh, its company had different uh, benefit uh, when they give to uh, they give to the staff it depend on the uh, Profession, I think mm -hmm. that, yeah. that's right. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, for example, dentists have different um, yes. have different benefits from teachers. Okay. Yes. Pilots have different um, uh, benefits or incentives from doctors, nurses, yes. and so on. Okay. Right. So, what about in your country, Misa? What do you think is the job that gets a lot of benefit? 
Okay. <laughs> or incentives. What kind of job does um get a lot of incentives in your country? In my country? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm, I think that the leader of the country, uh, the leader of the province, province. Uh, Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, <laughs> so <laughs> what about um, the highest paid profession? What do you think is the highest paid profession in your country? High paid uh, profession? Yes. Yeah. Mm. I think that is, it depends. Uh, like uh, I mean that not dentist got a high, uh -huh. so not dentist got a high salary or high pay. Um, it depends for the person and the the, work, uh, the way uh, uh, or the place they work for. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in my country, okay, I think my country offers a high salary for doctors. Okay. For for lawyers, okay. lawyer. yeah, lawyers, and for pilot, okay. and yeah, pilot to get a lot of salary, okay. <laughs> okay. Of course, and also of course businesses, right? Maybe businesses. What about this one? How important to you are the non-material benefits? And how do they compare to the material benefits? So, Ms. Chang, is it important for the employer to get non-material benefits? Of course. It is very important for an employer to get the non-material benefits because uh, um, like uh, we say about the satisfaction or the uh, fulfillment or positive feedback that uh, give the uh, mo mo that also give motivation to a staff in comparison with the uh, uh, material benefits it is really important to to give to the staff the non-material benefits I, in my opinion they have equal Equal than the material benefits. Oh, it's greater. Okay, non-material benefits is greater than material benefits. Okay. How about you, Miss Zhang? Have you ever, have you ever been praised by your boss or by your managers? Yeah. Um, of uh, I, I think that I got a lot of uh, non-material benefits like positive feedback or I had uh, the right to, uh, to, uh, to make some decision or uh, maybe I, uh, I, uh, I, I, I feel satisfaction about this environment. Okay, so... Of course, and you also said that you are one of the best dentists in your company. So I think you get a lot of a lot of acknowledgement or appreciation. Okay. Yes, and uh, it's it makes you more confident, right? Yeah. It makes you more confident also, and it makes you more uh, motivated to do your work or to do your job. Yes. Because money, okay. Money is good, but after you spend money, okay, you feel empty, okay? Yes. You feel empty, but, <laughs> but when you are working and you feel valued by, by the company, okay, you feel motivated and you wanted to work harder, okay? Yeah. All right. Okay, so now, Ms. Zhang, okay, let's have a break first. <laughs> okay, I will give you... I will give you three to five minutes break and then we will continue number nine, okay? Okay. All right. Mm. <laughs> 
trước thành nguyên mà thay như sau đó là không mang vừa thay nhưng mà thành nguyên thì em cho chơi thêm hai ba thằng là để mọc cái răng một năm hai năm cho thằng hết hoàn toàn nên ta làm thêm được thay nữa là xong chưa à? cho nên nó không mang thay đó dạ dạ không mang thay đó tức là em cho các bạn cho thành nguyên ngừng không mang thay đó dạ thằng tâm một thằng hai thằng lên cho các bạn với thành nguyên lên để sửa kém để lấy được thay nữa là có lẽ là xong thôi nhưng mà chưa thì việc của bọn mình xin nắng cho khách cho được thôi So, Ms. Zang, <laughs> let's continue number nine. So, number one, yeah, okay, number nine. Yes. You're going to, oh, you said you wanted to have your own clinic in the future, right? Yes. Okay. So, you're going to decide on the, com on the type of a company you want, yes. service or product oriented, and how many employees you will need. Okay. For example, you will have your own clinic and yeah. you will think of how many employees you will need. Number two, what yeah. benefits, rewards, and incentives will you offer to your employees? Yeah. Okay. What, effect will, what effects will this have for the employee and the company? And how will you make sure your employees receive some of the non-material benefits in number seven? Okay, so can you do it now? Yes. All right. So can you tell me number one? Is your answer for number one? So the time of my company is service, customer service. We deserve it to our customer. We take care of their teeth. Uh huh. So it's a service oriented because. You're going to give service to the cost or to the to the clients or to the patients, right? Okay. What else? I talk about 
many, uh, how many, yeah, how many, many employees? Uh, for the first years, I we will need maybe two or three employees. Uh -huh. How many? Two to three employees? I think that two or three. Ah, uh, it's because enough. That, yeah, and because my uh, my husband will, uh, will be a uh, dentist and we just need to uh, to hire uh, to hire uh, staff, uh, staff, one staff for Uh -huh. Assistant uh, for, for the for the position of assistants and one for the cleaning and washing of the equipment and maybe one for the class or the reception for the first for the first year. Okay. Yes. All right, so I think you don't need a lot of, you don't need a lot of employees, okay? All right, okay. So now, dear, how about number two? What benefits, okay, what benefits, rewards and intensives will you offer, okay, to your employees? Yes, first I will offer the, the standards for a staff like monthly salary and that I will pay them the salary that we in a, we, we agree with we, we have had agreement in the first in the first time we we meet or we we do a contract and other I will give them a staff this crowd I mean when their parents their family members or, or relative have problem about the deities or we can give them a discount and mm -hmm. yes um, of course we uh, I will give them uh, they want like money for uh, this month, uh, this promise, uh, maybe uh, I will pay higher if they, they got uh, higher or uh, best promise. Uh -huh. uh, many we want for one of them or yeah, well. <laughs> for all of them, maybe like this. <laughs> That's right, okay. So I think that's a good that's a good reward and that's a good benefit. Okay, what effects will this have both for the employee and the company? If you have given them benefits, rewards and incentives, what will happen to the employee and to the company? Of course, if they feel happy and they love the job, they, they, our company will develop. And uh, uh -huh. for example, the the um, uh, the first person that we hear that she got 15% of uh, everything that she sell. I think that uh, if I, uh, if when, when I, when I open my clinic more, uh, we, we had a lot of, uh, we had more uh, chairs for treatment, I will hire a dentist. And when she, this, this when she, um, when they are, they their job good, we had a lot of customer or a lot of patients, or they get they they can earn a lot of money. I will give them uh, the percent, maybe ten percent to thirty percent of what of the money that they earn. Okay, the that earn, yeah. that's right. All right, so. Okay, the, the employee will be happy, okay? <laughs> the employee yeah. will be happy and there is a good effect. If the employee is happy, the company will, will do better, okay? Yes. Because if the employee is not being taken care, okay, your company yeah. will, not, uh, will not be successful also. That's why we should also love our employees, okay? Okay, number seven, Miss um, Zhang. How will you make sure 
your employees receive some of the non-verbal or non-material benefits? Yes. Aside from incentives. I, I, I know that um, not, not, any, not everything that we give to others, and maybe not one of them can feel that the thing that we give to them. So, um, in order to ensure that uh, my, my employees receive the non-material benefits, I, will, I think that I will talk to them Mm -hmm. uh, uh, listen to them and maybe uh, uh, look at them, look at their okay. feeling, uh, their, uh, uh, the way they, they, they work. Uh, maybe uh, listen to their feedback about the job, uh, the feedback about, uh, about us. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it is very important, okay, to give them some some powerful words also, okay, or non-material benefits because we do not know what they are um, facing, okay? okay they, we do not know if they are struggling also. And by saying good job or by saying um, you are good today, Okay, it makes them more confident, okay? It makes them feel motivated, okay? All right, okay. So now, but let's move on to uh, the next one. All right, we are done with, now, with number yes. four. Okay, so, okay, in my company, all right, my company offers also some incentives like, uh, bonus okay if you get a high a high perf high number of students in this month they will give you a small amount okay. and they will also give you a certificate a certificate of yeah <laughs> certificate of appreciation like you are the best teacher for this month okay and the, like loyalty award okay. but we don't get don't get benefits okay we don't get benefits and some some incentives because we are working in a private company, so they don't yes. offer a lot of benefits. Unlike when you are working in, in public or in yes. government, okay. Yes. Uh, what about you in your country, Ms. Sam? What are the difference between um, dentists in government and dentists in a private hospital? Yes. Uh, to be honest, most of my friends say that uh, being a dentist, they will feel more happy and we, they will work more. Uh, they will earn more money when we uh, open their own, our own dental clinic. <laughs> ah. but in comparison with the dentists who work in the government hospital and uh, who work in the private hospital, uh, I think that with the one who work in the government hospital, they have the they had more day off in comparison with the with someone who work in the private hospital, uh, like my, my 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 close friend in the university. She often had uh, two or three day off on weekend. Wow! And I just has one day off. Uh huh. Uh, but in comparison with the salary the salary we i got higher than my my friend uh -huh. um, yes but uh, my friend can have more uh, benefits like uh, maybe uh, uh, she, uh, she, when she work in the hospital uh, uh, on the day and at night uh, she continue to work for their own cancer clinic at home. Ah. Oh, and then with, with the when when I work in the private, uh, I work in the private hospital. Uh, the, mm -hmm. the 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 deal when I when we have a contract that I do not open my own dental clinic up when before I finish my contract. You know. Ah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. how many years is your contract? Right here? Oh. 10, uh, it depends, 5 to 10 years. Wow, it's but, a long time. 
Yes, and my my husband this year, my husband would finish his seven years working for our company. Ah. Yes, then so yes, but for me, I I when I, I uh, when I decide and when I uh, when I sign a contract with our company, mm -hmm. I decide to go to um, pursue my higher education. So mm -hmm. I learned the thesis, you know. Uh -huh, yeah, the, thesis. The, yeah. Uh, yes, yes. So um, I had 10 years of contract. contract. Oh, yes. so your husband will finish his contract first. Yes. Okay. So is then, he planning? Is he planning yeah. to to resign or is he planning to continue? No, he. I like I say you. Uh, he will open his own ah. entity. Uh, <laughs> oh, so he will he will be the first one to to open. Okay, and then after yeah. your contract, you will work yeah. in your own clinic. No, uh, it depends. Huh? Uh, yes. Because I, um, I, uh, I think that I don't, uh, yeah, I, maybe I do have another way, like I will go to the university to, to teach, and I want to have a lot of time with my children. Oh, okay. Oh, yes, yeah, so. that's, that's better also. Yes. Yeah, so. Because because when you open your own clinic again, all right, you will yes. be more be you will be busy, okay? Yes. So maybe your husband is enough, right? Yes. Like, and he will get uh, he will get some employees too. Yes. Right. So you can focus on your children, and you can also teach the university. Yeah. Okay. Wow. That. <laughs> that's a that's a good plan. Like after after three years, okay? Yes. Yes. All right. So now, Ms. Zhang, thank you so much for a wonderful class today. Okay. So we have finished about incentives okay, and benefits. Let's have our homework about business communication. So you will answer number one next meeting. Okay. So when you meet someone for the first time, how do you encourage conversation? What kind of that normally motivate other people to make conversation? Okay. Yes. So, do you have any questions? No. All right. Now, okay. So we will have other. We will have our next class on Thursday. And what okay. time? Of, uh, what time do you want to start the oh, class? To learn. Oh, okay. So. Uh, we can learn at seven. Okay, if, if we are free at seven, at seven, at seven a.m. But I hope that we have electricity. Okay. Yes. <laughs> All right. So we can learn early in the morning. Okay. <laughs> but if you have some funds, okay, you can tell me early so we can learn. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much, and have a good day. Goodbye. Yes, goodbye. Okay. Goodbye.